Y'all, I'm excited to share another Halloween DIY video. And the cool thing about this one is you can make these almost any size you want. Keep watching and see how they all turn out. On this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I was near a Goodwill one day and I thought, let me just stop in and see what they have. Now, normally I don't find that much that I want, but on this particular day, I stumbled across these clay terracotta pots. They were only 77 cents each and I immediately knew what I was gonna use them for. They also had these saucers and I was tempted to get those, but y'all, I'm trying to not increase my stash. So I left them there for someone else to enjoy. Now you can sometimes find similar pots at Dollar Tree and Lowe's and you know, stores like that. And they come in various sizes, but also Hobby Lobby carries a wide variety of shapes and sizes as well, but they're more than 77 cents. But at least you have some options if you're wanting to re recreate one of today's DIYs. I'll do a full reveal at the end, but you're pretty much gonna get the general idea as we go along. The pots that I'm using are clay and they are gonna soak up paint. And you could put a base coat on first to help with the coverage or do like I did and just paint on a couple of coats. And I'm just sketching on a pumpkin face with a pencil. And you know, I may not be the best when it comes to pumpkin faces, but it turns out just fine. I'm using Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultramat Paint in the color charcoal for this video. And I'm using a detailed brush to fill in the face that I just sketched out. Now in hindsight, it would have been way easier to use a paint pen, but I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> Today's video is part of a playlist. And one of the things that I love about playlists is just the fact that you get a group of people together and we all create different DIYs. It's just really super fun. I host this playlist on the fourth Friday of every month with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. And the guest host this month is Annie from Indie Annie Jones DIY. The links to their channels and the playlist is gonna be in the description box below. So I hope you check them out and show them some love. We're barely a couple minutes in and DIY number two is coming in hot. There are parts of this video that are going to be repetitive, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> this time we're painting this pot with this like pretty purple color, purple with lavender color. And again, you could do a base coat or do two coats if you need more coverage. Now this one is going to be a vampire. And I know I said I do a reveal at the end, but also I said you'd kind of get the idea of what I'm doing as I go along. So I needed to work on the hairline for my vampire and I had made one attempt already on the opposite side and you could probably see peaks of it. And now I was going for try number two. I still need to refine it or I feel like I do, but maybe I'll do that later. I've sketched it out and I'm taking that charcoal colored paint and starting to fill it in. And again, I'm using a detailed brush and just trying not to rush it so that I hopefully don't mess it up. I'm just filling in the rest of the pot with the black paint. I'm not filling the pot. I'm painting the pot with the charcoal paint, except for the face area, of course. And I have this little dauber sponge type brush. It's not really sponge. It's more like, I guess it's kind of spongy. Anyways, I made two little dots for the eyes and now I'm sketching on the mouth and I think vampires need fangs. So I'm trying to sketch those in as well. And of course I take that detailed paintbrush and start to fill in all the areas that I just sketched. And again, it probably would have been easier with a paint pen, but I was also kind of trying to keep with the same color paint and it's a charcoal paint not black anyway you know you do you okay I was gonna do this whole transition like BAM and then it was gonna like transition to being painted but anyway this is DIY number three and I painted it white and guess what this is gonna be I'm just going in with a black paint pen and putting on the face DIY number four look y'all we're rolling right along I told y'all that you could make these DIYs various sizes. It just depends on the size clay pot that you use. So for this one, I'm using that same Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color charcoal, and I'm painting it all over. And socks is helping. I have sketched on two eyes, and now I'm just painting it with some bright yellow paint. DIY number five finds us painting this pot green I've got captain's assistance, as you can tell, he's just lounging there on my craft table. So again, this is kind of a repeater thing. You're painting the pots, the color that you want them to be. And this one's gonna be green. Can you guess what I'm making? 
I did sketch on the hairline of this next character that I'm making and I'm just using a little pencil and then I'm taking a you know again another <laughs> I'm just like repeat just another um, fine paintbrush fine tipped small tipped I don't fine tipped paintbrush and I'm painting in the hairline just kind of going all the way around fun fact I messed up when it came to the mouth part and I wanted to repaint over it to redo it hang on I'll show you in a second as it turns out I don't show you anyway I had started to paint on the mouth a different way and I decided I didn't like it and I was going to redo it so I went to go get the paint and repaint over it and then I couldn't remember <laughs> what paint I used so then I'm trying to like find out the paint and I'm trying different color paints that I have y'all it was a whole process it was a whole thing ended up just repainting the pot and starting over now I'm just adding some eyes and I'm using that little um, dauber thing it's not really a sponge it's kind of a sponge but it's not like the sponge one you get from Dollar Tree last one y'all and I guess this video is gonna be short sweet and to the point <laughs> so this pot I painted white and I kind of sketched on with a pencil just some lines trying to make the I mean you, you guys know what I'm making I think I'm making a mummy and so the little face area I painted black I painted the eye area green and now I'm taking just one of the colors I had just a dark color it doesn't matter what color you use and I've got captain's assistance here I'm just painting on where the mummy wrappings are and I'm not going all the way around because you're really only going to see the front and I just didn't feel like I needed to paint the back so then I go back with another color uh, um, brown I think it's territorial beige or something anyway just to kind of give it some dimension but y'all I didn't really like how that turned out so then I took some white and a lighter gray color and now I'm just kind of going over those lines that I just took the time to paint don't ask me why I don't know I just thought I was gonna create some like shadows and stuff and it just wasn't really turning out so I painted over with kind of a mixture of the gray and the white a little heavier on the white in most places and I'm kind of covering up the lines. Maybe you can kind of see them through it. I don't know. So here is how my six clay pots turned out. And if I had to guess, you know what? I'm looking at this now and I forgot to glue the little bol bolts on the side of Frankenstein's, oh, oh, whatever. Okay, so here's the mummy. Here's how he turned out or she, it could be she. I put a little white circle in there and I added a little black dot. Here's Frankenstein. I ended up making those eyes black with a little white dot in there and again I forgot to glue the bolts on the side I have those in the garage I'll do that later here's the jack-o-lantern and he turned out okay you know I mean smiles a little lopsided but it's okay here is the vampire his his like hairline looks a little I don't know doesn't doesn't look right to me but um here's my little black cat and last but not least here's my little ghost clay pot one thing i forgot to tell you guys is i run a facebook crafting group um a crafting group on facebook it's called crafty diys on a budget i'm gonna leave a link to that in the description box below i run that with my friend sarah from gg juju b diy who i'm hosting with today i am blabbering here's how they turned out i hope you loved them thank y'all so much for watching my video but wait wait don't go anywhere don't go anywhere don't go anywhere i want to tell y'all something so this week the the playlist today's thursday it comes out tomorrow right but on wednesday yeah wednesday yesterday i got to meet again timmy from the rusted willow we got to meet up we met at cracker barrel and her and her husband were there they were traveling through so it was like so fun to talk youtube stuff and just chat and catch up um she's she's really quickly become a really good friend and i appreciate it so tammy if you're watching hey um so with that being said don't forget like subscribe do all the things but watch my outro and don't forget if you want to follow me on social media like here on youtube or over on instagram or tiktok or something it's our gray house but just don't follow me in real life though because that's just creepy it is bye